Okay guys, in this problem, a concrete gravity retaining wall is being used to support an elevated section of very dense soil. The concrete has a unit weight of 140 pounds per cubic foot. Knowing that the factor of safety against overturning at point A is 3, what is the soil's active force per unit length of the wall if found according to the Rankine active earth pressure theory? So the first thing we can do in this problem is go to pages 80 or 81 of our civil review manual. And that's going to give us some equations that we're going to want. The first one is going to be the equation for uh, coefficient of active earth pressure. And that's going to be Ka equals tan squared. 45 minus the over 2. Um, the second equation we're going to pull off of page 80 is going to be the active force within depth Z. So that's going to be PA equals our term found above, KA times gamma times the depth z squared over 2. Pa is going to be active pressure. And that is what we're going to be solving for in this problem. Um, however, we can do that in this case it, it notes that phi is not given for this problem, so we're not going to be able to calculate it using these two steps. If we had it, we could do that and we'd be done. In this case, we're going to solve for the moment of the wall about point A. So holding back the soil, the wall is going to want to rotate this way, and the soil itself is going to want to rotate this way, pushing against the wall about point A. And knowing that the factor of safety is going to be the moment of the wall over the moment of the soil, and it's going to equal 3, we can calculate the moment of the wall and the soil, or rather, the moment of the wall, then find the soil, and then from the moment in the soil, we can find the resultant force. So let's do it. Um, the first step we're going to go through here is going to be the rotational force or moment of the footing. Wall footing, same thing in this case. Um, so let's break this into two areas. This is going to be area one for the triangle. This will be area two for the rectangle. So A1 here is going to be one half, one foot, and that's this base here we can see because there's one foot length here, two feet down here. Um, seven feet is the height of the triangle. And then the unit weight is 140 pounds per cubic foot stated in the problem. So that is the concrete weight per linear foot. It's per linear foot, just to be clear. And now if we want the uh, distance about the, the rotational distance, we're going to need to do the total distance, which is going to be, again, 1, about point, about point A, times 2 thirds, because centroid of the moment here will be 2 thirds away from from this length of one. So it's going to be one foot 
times two thirds. And multiplying all of this together gets us 323 pound feet per linear foot of the wall. And now we can calculate area two. So this is going to be again one foot width times seven foot height. seven feet times 140 pounds per cubic foot and again we need our distance which in this case it's going to be the length of one away from a and also an additional 0.5 because the moment of rotation is about the center of a rectangle whereas it was two-thirds away from the edge of this triangle. So say 1.5 feet. And this will give us a much larger rotation of 1470 pound feet per foot. We can combine these two since they are all contributing to get. 1793 pound feet per linear foot of wall. Okay, so knowing that our factor of safety, again, of the concrete and the soil, actually, just go back up here since we already wrote it out, equals, in this case, that's going to be 1793 pounds feet per feet over moment about a of the soil um so solving for that real fast gives us and i'll just write it down here m a soil equals 597 Point eight pound feet per linear foot. Now we need to keep in mind that that's the rotational force, and we were asked for the active earth pressure, which is the PA. So PA in this case is going to be five ninety seven. Point eight pound foot per linear foot divided by, and we need to use the height of the wall in this case as our as our distance, but knowing that the force in the soil increases steadily as we go down. So in the same way that this triangle, it was two thirds of the of the length, we're going to be using two thirds of the depth here. Also known as the bottom third is where that rotational point about A is going to be coming from. So it's gonna be rotating at a depth of one third times seven. So seven feet times one third and we did the math out for that we will get 256.6 pound feet and that will be our active pressure for this problem okay guys so there's also one more thing i wanted to add is how this problem could have been solved if fee had been given instead um, so let's say that phi had been equal to 57 degrees instead of being not given, as we could see here. So in this case, we could start off the problem by calculating Ka. So that would have been tan squared of 45 minus 57 over 2. And that should have given us 0 0.087. And this is probably a lower than realistic uh,
coefficient of active pressure, to be honest with you. Um, I don't think I should have used a very dense soil when trying to design this problem. Most KAs, I believe, are between 0.2 and 0.5, so this is a little low, but the math will still work for the sake of this problem. So next we would calculate PA. So we would have 0 0.087, which is our KA value, times the gamma of the soil being 120 pounds per cubic foot, and then the depth of Z of the soil, which we have as seven feet squared, according to this equation up here, all over two, and that should calculate out to be the same number here. So if I could do this in my calculator very quickly, I'm getting 256.6 pound feet. So that would have been how you'd calculate PA. And from there, if you wanted your, your moments, you just would have had to work backwards from what we did here. And if they'd asked for maybe the um, factor of safety instead, you could have still used this to get the calculation of the moment for the wall. You would have had the calculation of the moment in the soil, and you could have calculated for your factor of safety that way. So yeah, to do that though, you would have needed phi, and then you would have been using the active earth pressure equations instead of sort of avoiding them in the way that we did this problem to get to the active earth pressure here. Okay, so I just wanted to clarify that and I hope that was actually helpful for you.